Hey, I'm Hassan and welcome to Retro Revive. Uh, today's a bit of a different video. It's not going to be as heavily edited or scripted or anything. Uh, it's just a, a follow-up to my White Door 7 review. I wanted to make an install guide because I felt the install guide that uh, that are the install guides that are available on YouTube weren't very helpful, and I kind of wanted to make a 2023 updated guide. So yeah, uh, let's just get started with the prerequisites. So you're gonna need um, Windows uh, Windows 7 Service Pack 1. Pre Service Pack 1 might also work. I haven't tried it, but I'm I'm running Service Pack 1 over here. Um, I had trouble on XP. It should work on XP. No clue about Vista, and it doesn't work on Windows 10 and 11. Um, I can't really speak on OS 10, but if any of you guys know how to get it working on OS 10, definitely leave it in the comments below because it will be of great help. And I'll and I'll pin your comment. Um, and you're gonna need to download this specific version of iTunes, um, iTunes 11.1.5.5, and I'll leave both of these in the description. This is the link for the 32-bit version, and this is for the 64-bit version. Um, and yeah, you're going to need, uh, an iPod touch first generation, up touch second generation, which actually there's something special with, uh, which model you have. I'll actually leave a, a link in the description to help you decipher which version you, uh, which model you have, and, or you'll need either an iPhone, iPhone 2G or iPhone 3G. All right. So let's begin. Uh, you'll start on, uh, this page. Um, you'll download whichever one corresponds to your device. I have an iPhone 3G, so... I would click the one for the iPhone 3G and you'll get to this screen. It says it contains malware, but it does not. Uh, and then you can download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to click that. Um, oh yeah. Also make sure to install iTunes before you begin. Um, so now once you get it, uh, you'll, uh, once you download it, you'll open it up and it'll look like this inside. You can, what is happening? All right, uh, you can extract it, whatever. Here, um, this is what it looks like inside the folder again. Uh, now what you wanna do is run Red Snow as an administrator. Then you're gonna wanna go to Extras, Pwn DFU, and um, you might notice that the next button is grayed out. This is when you wanna come to the iPhone and um, you're gonna want to no, slide the power off, just like that. All right, uh, now this uh, became available. The next button became available, so I'm gonna wanna click next on it. Hold the power button for three seconds, follow the instructions, 10 seconds, with the home button, both power, uh, both buttons being pressed down. The screen's gonna flash black. Release the power button and keep holding the home button even if the screen on the computer changes. Don't let go, just hold it for the full 15 seconds or whatever it was. Yep, it's gonna keep holding it. And there we go, now it says done. So now you're gonna want to go to iTunes, which I need to open up. Apologies. Okay, so now iTunes is detecting the iPhone in recovery mode. So now um, from here, you're gonna wanna hold the shift key down and while holding the shift key down, left click on the restore iPhone button. And now in the same folder that you just extracted and ran red snow out of, there will be an IPSW file right here for your device and just click open. And now it should just um, get ready to install the software. You'll see phone screen change and everything uh, and like a few in a, in a bit not yet but yeah uh oh there we go all right i'll be back when it's done installing okay so the installation is now complete um if you leave your phone plugged into itunes you'll get this screen over here um and it'll just automatically kind of just activate your phone for you uh, and yeah that's uh, pretty much it so if it helped you uh please like the video uh, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll link down the original um, video, the White Door 7 review, if you want to watch that as well. And yeah, um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.